Hello, welcome to Secrets of Saturn. I am Jason Lindgren, your host. I have a quick message here for you with my very good friend Crow777. Something really, really bad has happened as of 1119. I'll leave that one for you guys to figure out. The bad guys have struck a very heavy blow and taken down Crow's channel. Crow, let's hear all about it. <laughs> I guess I'm the YouTuber formerly known as Crow. There's already a Crow Triple Seven knockoff channel that people in Finland are hitting, apparently. Um, yeah, um, I went to log in this morning, and of course, something went wrong. And as I got into my email, I realized they terminated me. But it's it, it's you know a strange thing. It's a lunar wave clip that was the termination the community standard violation that terminated my channel, but it's over two years old, uh, as was the Randy clip that gave me a community strike. I don't even remember what the other one was, but it's quite a thing. You know, there's many thousands of hours of telescopic observation that actually led to discoveries um, that have been destroyed, and that doesn't even count all the editing time and everything else that goes into it, which is probably thousands more hours that they just so nonchalantly destroy and what really kills me about this is it's not about the content at all, because if a video was a problem, they could just remove it. They did, as a matter of fact. They gave me two copyright strikes on International Space Station videos where the copyright was being held by, get this, Believe Entertainment, for some reason holds the copyright on NASA ISS clips and I fought them. One was reinstated, one was not, with the warning that if you challenge this again, you'll get your third strike probably. Um, but the point is, is they remove those videos without giving me strikes. So it goes to show that absolutely the intent here is censorship. I mean, it's a crazy, it's been a crazy day, Jason. It's, it's hard to fathom how much work was lost that quickly. Yeah, well, it's, I think it's pretty obvious at this point that you're being targeted, and thankfully, I have not yet been targeted. So I'm just going to keep up all of this, uh, the, the posting of all of what we do together, and anything else you may want to get out there, we can certainly use my channel for, and we'll see how long that lasts for. Well, what's crazy, too, is, you know, I've got some black hat friends, and they're saying it looks like there's an algorithm on YouTube and Google that are just striking my name out of the conversation. Uh, I always thought there'd be more backlash if they took out a channel like mine that was so, so well known all over the world for the telescopic work, but I didn't see it. And when I did searches, I thought I would at least see people posting that the channel was gone and I'm not seeing it. And uh, some of my black hat friends were saying, it looks like there's an algorithm pulling it all down or uh, not returning searches on your name. So it's hard to, hard to understand. I guess as the week goes on, we'll know more, but Damn, dude, we've come through the looking glass, haven't we? Um, the things that they cited to strike me for were the most innocuous, non-offensive videos. So this has to be whole hog about censorship. And for some reason, I guess they didn't want to hit the podcast clips. That's my guess, anyhow. Well, let me be blunt here, Crow. I expect better from our listeners. I am calling out each and every one of you to get on board with challenging this nonsense. If they're taking down Crow for no particularly good reason, they did it to Richie from Boston with his first channel too. I don't know who else that maybe Crow and I aren't familiar with. They're after us. So either stand up or that's it, folks. You know what's particularly irksome about this is, you know, if my channel was solely podcast material that you and I cover, not that I would accept that, but it would be more understandable why they were trying to censor it. But in this case... Uh, this is the channel that posted the first lunar wave, and there are endless lunar wave clips posted there. Um, there are endless, well, not endless, but numbers of eclipse, both solar and lunar eclipse coverage footage that was all shot in HD in the west on the West Coast. And then finally, the last one here that led to the discovery that I announced not too long ago about the moon's non-involvement in solar eclipses. Um, there are a bunch of what I consider to be legitimate astronomical discoveries um, that have been removed. And I think I had something like 300, I don't know, maybe it was close to 360 clips, I don't really know. It was over 350 anyhow, the majority of which are the telescopic work. Things like the shooting orb, uh, Venus, Venus, supposed Venus transiting the sun twice, shot in HD. I mean, these are events that don't come around very much. But it's just kind of astonishing now that I'm sitting back and thinking about everything that was lost to public view. And while 
I have a lot of it backed up, most of it backed up, a lot of followers backed it up. Can you imagine just the upload time trying to get it uploaded somewhere else? I mean, just the whole thing is staggering, um, the amount of work that it's going to take. And on top of that, Jason, you and I are about to lose a hell of a lot of traffic uh, to the podcast because there was a community of about 80,000 people there that were participating in that conversation, which YouTube just so kind of blithely brushed aside. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say it again. You people out there need to stand up. How about all the wonderful flat earthers who love to cite Crow's work? Your precious flat earth movement, all you guys that are so diehard about it, your movement started after Crow777 put out his first big lunar wave. He pretty much kicked it off without saying it. And if you go back and look, you'll see that it's true. So you guys better say something. You know, it's it's funny. You know, I started this meme, the modern day book burning, and I don't really use social media, but I have been on Twitter most of the day trying to communicate out to people because Twitter's about to lock down. What, what we're hearing, and actually I saw people talking about it in my forum at Crow 777 Radio, um, that it looks like the European Union are setting the rules and standards for the censorship um, that we're seeing here in these companies that most of which have their servers based in California, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure the YouTube servers are there. But if you ever notice, like I notice a lot when I'm on Twitter, the time isn't right for my time zone. It's a European time zone. It's a strange, strange thing. But what we're hearing is that Twitter is going to follow this lockdown pretty quickly. Some people are saying looks like it's about a month off. But so I blew up Twitter all day long showing people what was lost, taking stills out of the the hydrogen alpha solar work that I did, um, uh, eclipse footage, showing some of the equipment and myself standing there with the equipment on Twitter to show folks the level of tools that was brought to bear here. Um, it took me half a lifetime to put together tools um, that were this high end to do this. And people should realize that by the time the last eclipse went through, this is what I brought to bear. A Schmidt Cassegrain 8 inch telescope, a Schmidt Cassegrain 11 inch telescope, a hydrogen alpha solar telescope, a long throw 800 millimeter high def telephoto lens with a doubler on it, a 36 megapixel Nikon, a full spectrum Canon DSLR that was converted to full spectrum. Um, these are some of the tools that I had amassed in one place to do the work that I did. And this is what provided the clips that YouTube has now basically burned like a modern day book burning. So the level of what has been lost is is astonishing. It is. And We'll keep everyone posted to see if anything changes over the next couple of days, but I am going to blast this little video out everywhere I possibly can, and I expect all of you to do the same. Well, I'm hoping people will use the modern day book burning meme and just harp on the fact that, that YouTube just censored thousands of hours for nonstop years of telescopic observation, which was a an actual legitimate history of this time that we live in. So anyhow, Jason, I, I know you've got to render this out and try to get it up tonight. Is there anything else you want to cover? I think that's it, my friend. I'm going to get this out immediately. All right, man. Thanks so much. Glad you got this platform. And uh, we'll be coming back on 5G and AI here pretty quick for Crow 777 Radio, right? That's right. That's what we're tackling this week. All right, there it is, my friend. Have a good night, and let's hope we got a community that's willing to do some things behind us because this is getting out of hand. All right, folks, that's it. We'll see you soon. 